Hey friends, welcome back for another video. If you're new around here, I'm Sarah. I make motherhood and slow living videos every week. This week we're doing something a little different. I normally talk about getting rid of things in your household that you don't really use or need on a regular basis to just help lighten that mental and physical load of your natural environment inside your home. But I love a good thrift store, love vintage items, antiques, just things that have been really loved or used by other people. I think there's something really special about that item having history to it. There's just so many wonderful things I love about thrifting. With that being said, I think that you can declutter all day long, but it's really important to keep items that you love so much that when you see that item, it brings you nothing but pure happiness and just love in your heart. And that to me is the perfect reason to have an item inside your home. I wanted to make a thrift haul video. <laughs> I love watching thrift hauls, especially right now because I haven't been able to go to a thrift store in about three years now and my soul hurts. My soul is hurting about that. Luckily, I found a little bit of a workaround to where I could kind of go thrifting without going to a thrift store. And I talked about it in one of my previous videos where I joined something called a Buy Nothing group. Your town can join this Facebook group and as we're decluttering our homes and getting rid of things we don't want because everybody's doing that right now, it's great. We can just put them on this Facebook group, choose somebody to gift it to. And so I joined this group sometime last year and I have nothing but great things to say about it. I've gotten so many wonderful items in my home that I'm about to show you. It was contactless. I didn't have to see anybody in person. And the best part about it is it was all free. Like I got all of this stuff free and there's more. I wasn't able to pull everything in my home to do this video in, but if I can get a couple of B-roll shots, I'll show you the other few items that I got this past year. It was just so amazing to be decluttering, getting rid of all this stuff I didn't need in my home. And then when I did see something I really liked, I really wanted or needed, um, to be able to put my name in the hat to win that item. I didn't get all the items that I wanted, and that's perfectly fine. I'm so thankful that I got the items I did. So without further ado, let's jump into my 2021 kind of thrift haul, but it was all free. <laughs> So I wanted to divide this up into categories of kid stuff, home, and then maybe like personal apparel type items. Start with some like personal apparel items because I think that's the least amount of things that I got. This is, might be one of my favorite items that I got. I have always wanted Doc Martin boots since I was a teenager. I specifically always have wanted white leather Doc Martin boots. I still to this day haven't been able to score a pair. These are brand new. The tread is not worn at all. They're like a textured light pink. Like who am I to have pink Doc Martens? I thought they would be super cute. A punch of color to my wardrobe for that day. I would totally wear these. They're pretty close to white, okay? Um, but I'm still going to hunt for a white pair of Doc Martens one day in my life. I hope I get them. But these will definitely suffice for now. These are so cute. I love my crossover body bag purses and I carried one similar to this when I first met Alan except it was black and blue and it has just like a little gold clasp and you turn it and it opens. It has a bunch of different compartments. This is my favorite type of purse and I love it. This like looks so cool to me. The last apparel item is these 
Studio Ghibli uh, leggings. Um, they are super adorable. They're a tad bit small for me. They're um, My Friend Totoro themed and they have cute little mushrooms on them. Oh my gosh, they're absolutely adorable. I love them. They're super cozy. I'm tempted to look up how much these would run because I'm sure that would cost me a pretty penny trying to buy something like that brand new. Um, but yeah, so that's it for like apparel items. I really don't get that much like clothing or wearables uh, on this site. I just don't see things that really grab my interest that off that often. Next up, let's jump into kid stuff because this group posts so much kid stuff because as parents we're constantly like purging our kids items because they're always throwing out of things and getting new items. So it is just a gold mine if you need anything for your child. It is great to go on this site and you can always ask for things specifically. Like I needed a kid's chair for my son. He has a table but it has no chair and so I put in ask for it and, and it's great. I got him a chair. It's been used. I don't care. It's cute. It works. He loves it. It's the perfect height for him. It's wood. It's stable. You really can't beat that. You know what I'm saying? Love it. You gotta love it. Um, next up is this cute play set that I found for him. It is a veterinarian play set. It came with one animal. There's supposed to be more animals in here, but I can just put whatever animals or items. Like right now he has one of his Hot Wheels in here. And with like a little thermometer, a little scale, um, and it's just like a little play set for him to pretend like he's taking care of animals. But the coolest thing about this is it has a set of keys and it's a really great learning tool, um, especially when your child is learning their fine motor skills. Um, just matching up the shape to the correct door to unlock it. He'll spend so long just playing with the keys and unlocking and relocking the doors on this toy. It has been one of the best toy finds from this group that I think, um, and I think we scored uh, because it's just like a good learning tool and he enjoys it. It's by the brand B, which I know you can find at Target. Such a good score. This Buzz Lightyear is the one electronic one. I don't want to press the buttons on it because he's pretty loud, but these run for a decent amount of money that I do not have. And I was so fortunate to have been chosen to get him. He was used, you know, uh, somebody's kid had him and they loved him, um, but there's no major, there's nothing like majorly broken on it. Um, my son didn't know what the difference. Um, he just needed basically a good wipe down. There's a little bit of like scuffing on here, but, um, but who cares? We love him and we're going to take really good care of him now and Soren plays with him almost every day. A really good find because we're Soren's really in a Toy Story right now. He might be getting a uh, Woody for Christmas for his birthday. We'll see. Never. I hear parents talking about these all the time. I never had one when I was a kid that I remember. But it is a leap frog. It's like a learn and play tool. It's kind of like a laptop, if you will. These comes. It came with like. Five books and you can take the books out you turn it on and you press the buttons and it interacts with your child Soren is really liking the one with the alphabet right now since he's learning his alphabet and numbers um, but again I think this is a pretty like hefty item to spend money on um, so to have like a learning tool that's a toy that was free I'm just like so Thankful that we were given this. Uh oh. A to 
moving on to my favorite category is home goods and I am so excited for this. I randomly got this cute cat mug. I love it so much. Let me get closer to show you. Look how cute this is. It has little paw prints. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably see me use it all the time for my morning drinks. To me, brand new in a box and it came with a dish to set it on as well. So this is a silver plated dish, crystal liner in it. I already took the dish out because it is pretty tarnished, it's pretty old and needs some cleaning up so I was going to work on that but it is gorgeous. This is beautiful. I was going to use it as a catch-all for my dresser I think. I thought that would be really pretty. So the same person that gifted me that also gifted me these uh, battery operated candles. I only use battery oper operated candles in my home now because of Swerden's um, lung condition. It's just more healthier for our home anyways. So these are brand new. Like this is, this is a brand new item of, of candles and the holidays are coming up so I always like to put out extra candles for the ambiance so I'm so excited for that. Let's do books really quick. <laughs> I just picked a few books off my shelf. Let me get close. Picked up these um, three books. Robert Frost, you gotta love him. I'm gonna be reading The Christmas Carol because I don't think I've ever actually read it. I've only watched Christmas Carol. And then Romeo and Juliet, like what? Trying to read this ghost stories um, in the month of October, but I didn't get to it. So maybe I'll still try to knock it out. And the next couple weeks, it's just a bunch of different short stories in there. So that one, sometimes people give away like a whole lot of books. They're like, hey, if you want just this one book, you have to take this whole bag of books. And then you can kind of pick through what you want to keep and then re-gift what you don't want to keep to other people in the group so it kind of just like stays in the group going around in a circle it's such a good like community uh connection as well um anyways this is was just like a random book book called death by darjeeling and a tea shop mystery like that sounds so cute the author is Laura Childs. Don't know who that is. Don't know anything about that book. It might be really cheesy. It might be really cute. So I'm excited. These are my other really good finds. Uh, Soren is one of the best philosophers in the entire world. Um, I'm a little partial to the name Soren, uh, <laughs> as you might guess. And then Withering Heights. I found this gorgeous, gorgeous copy. It is so well-loved. But look at this. I have never seen this artwork for Withering Heights before, and this is one of my favorite books. Um, I'm in love with it. I love it so much. I love that it's just old, used, somebody loved it very much before me I'm sure and I get this close before this is fantastic you can actually see what I'm showing you now so behind me I literally just opened this before I started the video just to make sure this was, uh, was actually in here this was my most recent pickup item I just got in the past week you guys it's a French press coffee maker I have always wanted a French press coffee maker I've never had one. This was brand new in the box. I like, I literally just broke the seal, opened it up, like it was all wrapped up in the bubble wrap still with the tape on it. It's brand new. I got a French press now. Who am I? I'm excited. I am so excited. And so grateful. Like, so many people put their name in the hat for this one and the person ended up doing like, a random name wheel 
and my name was chosen and now I'm an owner of a French press for free. Big grand finale item for me. Um, let's just chat about it for a second, then I'll probably take some nice B-roll of it. But I grew up using a typewriter. My parents had a typewriter. I loved it dearly. I still have some of my papers that I wrote uh, newsletters on. Like I, I pretended I worked at a news, um, like a newspaper company or something, and I would like write down jokes of the day and like the weather. I don't know, just random stuff. And then I eventually went on to like writing actual short stories, poetry. I was in love with writing when I was a kid. Now in my adulthood for the last 10 years, I have really wanted a typewriter. And behold, before your very eyes. Granted, this is not like if I went out to go shopping for a typewriter. This might probably not be the one that I pick out, right? But, but for it being gifted to me for free, I'm not complaining one single bit. She's gorgeous. It's a Remington. Let me see if I can lift it up. She's heavy. She's heavy and she's gorgeous. So that is my big thrift haul. That's not really a thrift haul, but it's the best I can do under the circumstances we're living in. And in no way am I like, bragging like here's all this cool stuff I got for free that's not at all what this is like I am so grateful I understand like this is such a, a privilege to be able to have gotten all of this stuff for free it's crazy to me I just really enjoy watching thrift hauls and I feel like it's a good way to get to know somebody and get to know their interests a little bit better um, and it's just like a fun cozy sit down video so hopefully you found it to live up to those expectations of what I enjoy when I watch these types of videos um, but let me know like what is your favorite thrift item find mine's gotta be a typewriter I can't believe I have one in my possession Hopefully you had fun sitting down and going through all my thrift haul items with me. I hope you are having a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Take care and stay well, friends. Bye.